Hey gang, it's Andrew Keenan Bolger, Keenan Blogger on Instagram, and today I'm going to teach you how I edit my photos on my phone. In case you haven't noticed, I have spent the past year creating a very teal and peach aesthetic, and I've now released my preset so that you guys can achieve the similar look as well. If you want a deeper dive into why I think photos look so good in this aesthetic, you can check out my first video. Uh, it also gets into Lightroom and presets and why our eyes respond to certain color grades. I'll drop a link below. But if you don't want to buy the desktop version of Lightroom, do not worry, there is a free version that you can use on your phone and it's available in the App Store. I often find myself using it when I'm at an event or I'm out with friends and I snap a picture and just want to open it right up in Lightroom, add a preset, and throw it up online instantly. So let's jump into editing. Okay, first things first, make sure that you go to the App Store and download the Lightroom mobile app, it's free, and uh, head on over to my website to buy my mobile version preset. You can download it right away and save it to your phone, but they also do send you an email backup copy. So let's take you through the steps if you end up doing that. Okay, so open your email on your phone and download the image. So it'll open up a web browser and you will see at the very bottom Teal KB preset. Uh, go ahead and download it and open in. You're going to scroll over to copy to Lightroom. All right. And so that is your preset. And so what you're going to want to do is go into the top right corner, the circle with the three little dots and write create preset. Uh, and the preset name, let's call it Teal KB Preset. Make sure that all of the boxes are clicked and check. All right, so now you've got that in your presets. It'll show up under user presets. So if you go back uh, to a photo that you want to edit, let's uh, just click on one right here. Uh, and if you scroll at the very bottom of the screen, all the way over to presets and you will see teal kb preset is now an option all right already this image looks drastically different if you hold down with your thumb onto the screen you can see the original and release and it'll go back uh, already i'm pretty happy with this but i'm just gonna change a few things it's a little bit overexposed right now so if you go to the light tab and just bump down the exposure a tiny bit yeah, that really pretty much makes it look quite perfect. Uh, the before and the after. Yeah, you'll notice the wall turned teal, uh, my shirt is really popping, and the orange leaves look really great. Uh, so I'd be super happy with that. This preset works great even if when you took the photo the quality wasn't perfect. For instance, uh, let's look at this photo of me in front of a flower shop in the West Village. As you can see, it's pretty blown out. My skin just doesn't look good, but never fear. So the first thing we're going to do is scroll over to presets and scroll down until we find the teal KB preset. All right. Uh, yeah, so this fixed a lot of the stuff. Uh, the color is looking good, but... You'll see it's really still blown out. So I'm gonna go to the light button, start playing with the exposure. I'm gonna bump it down quite a bit on this. Uh, and then maybe take the shadows up just a tiny bit. And take up the shadows and maybe take up the blacks. And actually I'm gonna bump up the exposure just a tiny bit more. Um, and yeah. If you look at that before and after, I mean, it's such a different image. Uh, and this looks really great. The teals are definitely popping. All right. Now, for the most part, I try to take my photos in natural lighting. And I try to do it in the shade so that the shadows don't get too crazy. And I recommend you to try to do the same. But, of course, you're not always going to be able to control the weather conditions. So, here's an example of a shot that was taken in direct sunlight. As you can see, the contrast is really high, um, but you know, it's still a great picture. Uh, so let's go over to our preset. Oh, text from Scott. <laughs> uh, go over to our preset. Uh, let's find the teal KB preset, throw it on there. Um, yeah, so you'll notice it, the contrast is just too high. The blacks are too black, the uh, whites are too bright. So let's scroll over to the light button 
Um, I'm going to take the exposure down slightly uh, just to sort of fix our skin tone. Uh, but then the contrast, I'm actually going to take down even more, almost totally out. Uh, and I am going to now bump up the shadows quite a bit. Let's see. I'm going to just take the exposure down even a little bit more. Let's see the before and after. So the before and the after. Yeah, that's really different. Um, you'll notice the sky now has a lot of detail in it. Um, I'm actually going to take some of the highlights uh, down as well, uh, just to give the sky a little bit more blue. Uh, so, yeah, that looks great. And photo saved. And this photo is going to fit in really nicely in my Instagram grid. So that's it. Going forward, if you want to maintain this teal aesthetic like me, I encourage you to keep your eyes open for great teal places to shoot, or teal clothes, or teal props. And anyone who follows me knows I love interacting with you guys, so if you download and use my preset, be sure to tag me using hashtag tealkbpreset. I'm going to be following that hashtag, and from time to time I'm going to throw some of your favorite photos up on my story. So thanks so much. Reminder, you can download my preset in the link below. And I look forward to having you guys help me paint the world teal.